This is huge. This is big. I did a, a little bit of a search and calculation, right? This is supposed to be the size of Manhattan. So if you if you count by square blocks, and you've you've walked around in Manhattan, I know, as have I, that's like 3,000 square blocks. It's it's like it's like a mini city. Yeah, and you know what? I, I think it's interesting how you know, this is a company that changed the company's name to get into metaverse, and you know it's really showing a major pivot to AI. And this is not really the first time that, uh, well, this month alone uh, that we've been hearing about what kind of AI moves that it's making. And I think it, this is really crucial going forward in terms of the sectorial implications. I think it's really, it boils down to semiconductors and power elements. And we heard from Elon Musk in his, uh, one of his recent interviews with the CNBC talking about uh, the power situation is going to really be amplified in just a couple of years uh, to come here. And I think w when it comes to some of these Asian suppliers, I mean, I'm watching um, South Korea's memory names, HBM players. I mean, SK Hynix is up a 260% over five years. Power, transformer, electrical uh, equipment makers, they've surged like 400% in five years. So, so I think that is really the story going forward for Asia's supply chains as well. Yeah, so there are going to be huge, huge power demands as well as water uh, demands. That this has to be managed very, very mm. carefully, uh, right, Sherry? Because we we, we already have evidence. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there was a case of uh, uh, one data center, and the, the town it was in, literally the taps went dry simply because, uh, you know, that data center needed so much water to, to cool it. Uh, and folks in town, you know, didn't have any water left. So, yeah, this is going to be a challenge, uh, I think, to, to manage.